Hi, and welcome to Section Solutions. In this section, we're going to take a look at what are solutions, how do we install solutions, and then once they're installed, how do we then configure the solutions that we want. The first video is what are solutions. In this video, we're going to take a run through exactly what solutions are, the types of solutions that are available, and the levels of integration that each solution provides. So, what are solutions with Virealize Operations Manager? Well, at the end of the day, solutions are just plugins, or sometimes referred to as management packs. They are what allow Virealize Operations Manager to reach out and grab data from different endpoints. Now, these solutions come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Uh, some have more integration than others. For example, some are just plain endpoints. They'll collect the data, and we have to manipulate that data how we want to. Others have a bit more frills to it, meaning that they will come with dashboards that we can use out of the box, they will come with views and reports that we can use out of the box or use as guides, and then finally the most integration is actually plugging into the analytics engine of Virealize Operations Manager and doing capacity planning and reporting, etc. Now these solutions come from various different parties, VMware supplies solutions for VMware products and some other external products. Blue Medora, for example, is a third party that supplies a lot of different solutions for F5, for example, and HP and Dell and Cisco all provide solutions for their technologies like UCS Blades, etc. Now, solutions are located within the admin tab and it will be the first one that's selected on the navigation pane on the left hand side. Now if you've got a fresh install, you'll be able to see the out of the box ones, which is vSphere, and that will allow you to connect up all your vCenters. You'll also see operation systems, remote services, uh, the virialized operations management, as well as the uh, login side adapter. Now solutions can be downloaded from the solutions exchange, which is shown up on the screen at the moment under the VMware Cloud Management Marketplace. Now as we can see, there's Virealize Operations Management Pack, there's 130 there. We'd actually go into that because not all of them solutions or management packs. Once we're in this, it's broken down into different tools. So what we're really looking for is these advanced management packs. Now the rest of them can install and work and add different functionality. But these are the ones that supply those solutions with really good integration. Now as we can see, there's many different types. There's a lot from VMware. There's also a lot from VM Blue Medora and AWS, etc. Now it's good to note that not all solutions are the same. So most of the VMware ones will be kept up to date as new releases come out. Other ones that are from third parties may not always be up to date, so it's always good to be sure. Through the Solutions Exchange, you can click on the one that you want, you can have a look at the overview, make sure it does what you want, and under Tech Specs, they should mention which version of Virialize Operations Manager the plugin supports, and which version of the endpoints it also supports. Now, some plugins or solutions are paid, meaning that you have to pay a licensing cost. Now, majority of the VMware ones are free. The only one that has a license cost associated with it is the V4H, which is the Horizon uh, View plugin for Realize Operations Manager. And ones from Blue Medora are generally uh, premium and they have a cost associated with them, while others are just free and come as part of your purchase of the particular technologies it could be uh, Brocade or EMC, uh, etc. So you, once you download it, you download these as a .pack file, and that's when we get into installing it within Virialize Operations Manager. Now the ones that you do have installed here, it's good to note that you've got your versions. The ones you downloaded, you have a description of what it is. You have who it's provided by. So you can see all the ones here are provided by VMware, even the AWS one. And we can also see the licensing. So all these ones here are free. They have no licensing support. 
and obviously the adapter status so we can see what's configured and what isn't. Within the solutions page we can also actually list by configured or not configured. So I've only got three configured here at the moment and by clicking on them we can see the endpoint where I've only got one vCenter. If I had four vCenters attached they'll all be sitting under here and we can see the status of them. In this video we've talked about what solutions are. We've had a good overview of where to find solutions, what they connect to, and how they just generally work.